Off to school, baby duck. Baby duck could not eat her breakfast. It was the first day of school, and her stomach was all jitters. Breakfast toast is very tasty, said Mrs. Duck. Won't you have a bite? No, Baby said. Breakfast juice is very juicy, said Mr. Duck. Won't you have a sip? No, Baby said. Your sister Hot Stuff is way too small to go to school, Mrs. Duck pointed out. She's not brave enough either. Aren't you glad to be big and brave? No, Baby said. Baby Duck sat under the table with her blue school bag. Baby loved her school bag and the important things inside. One favorite book, a sandwich with jam, one tall pad, and one yellow pencil. A special going to school present from Hot Stuff. Button up your new school sweater, called Mrs. Duck. Hurry, baby. Baby buttoned. It took a long time. Buckle up your new school shoes, called Mr. Duck. Hurry, baby. Baby buckled. It took a long time. Mr. Duck looked at his watch. Time to go, he cried. Mr. and Mrs. Duck bustled out the front door. Swinging hot stuff in the air, their feet crunch and dry leaves. Come, come, they cried. School, glorious school. Baby dog dragged behind. Goodbye, house, she whispered in a little small voice. The duck family waddled on the road. Hop to it, baby, called Mr. Duck. Baby could not hop. Her feet felt too heavy. Chin up, baby, called Mrs. Duck. Skip along. Baby could not skip. Her school bag was bumping. Bumpity, bumpity, bump. The duck family waddled to the big schoolhouse. Baby's buckle popped open, and now her shoe was flapping. Flappity, flappity, flap. Calling all babies, here I am. Grandpa was waiting on a bench. Baby sat right up close to Grandpa. Rough day, he whispered. Yes, Baby said. Long walk, whispered Grandpa. Yes, Baby said. Scared about school, whispered Grandpa. Yes, Baby said. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes it helps to sing a song, Grandpa said. You sing nice songs, baby. Yes, baby said. I do. Then baby sang a song. Please don't make me go to school. My teacher will be mean. I won't have any fun or friends. And who will buckle my new shoe? I will, Grandpa said, and he buckled Baby's shoe. After that, Baby showed Grandpa the important things inside her school bag. He liked a pencil from Hot Stuff. You draw nice pictures, Baby, Grandpa pointed out. Yes, Baby said. I do. Then Baby drew a picture. Davy Duck took little steps toward Baby. He looked at Baby's picture. Baby felt proud. Miss Posy came across the schoolyard. My name is Miss Posy, she said. I'm the teacher. Are you mean? Grandpa asked. Oh, no, said Miss Posy. Do you sing songs in that schoolhouse? Grandpa asked. Oh, yes, said Miss Posy. Do you read books in there? Grandpa asked. 
Oh yes," said Miss Posy. "Do you like sandwiches with jam and yellow pencils?" Grandpa asked. "Oh yes," said Miss Posy. Miss Posy rang the bell. "Good luck," Grandpa said, shaking Baby's hand. Then Mister and Missus Duck took turns kissing Baby on both cheeks. "We'll be right here," they promised. When the school lets out, but Hot Stuff cried, "Wah, wah, wah!" Baby Duck put her arm around Hot Stuff. Little small babies have to wait," she said. She gave Hot Stuff the picture she had made. "Chin up," Baby said. Then Baby Duck hopped and skipped into the big schoolhouse with her new friend Davy Duck. She sang a pretty song. Off to school, baby duck! I am big and brave. I like Miss Posy, Davy Duck too, and I'll have fun in school. The end.